Podium 2 is very different from previous versions of Podium. You will notice some similarities, but most of the options and settings have changed. Right now with the beta, depending on the hardware your computer has, you may have problems rendering models over five to 600,000 faces. Clip maps are working, but we have noticed a number of lower quality clip maps rendering poorly. Your model must be saved because the rendered image gets placed in the location of the SKP. We will begin at the Material Properties window. This window is where you will do most of your work. At the top of the window is the Selection Status. The Selection Status will tell you how many faces you have selected, or if there is a material on a face and the name of that material is displayed. You can also select materials from the SketchUp Materials window. Like previous versions of Podium, you choose your values to apply with the sliders, or you can type values in the box next to the sliders. The big difference in version 2 is the values get applied to the material rather than the face. Previously, Podium automatically assigned any values applied with sliders. In version 2, however, you must remember to hit the Apply button at the bottom of the Material Properties window for the properties to take place. Currently, if a material is applied to a smoothed or curved surface, Podium 2 will not recognize the material since multiple faces are selected. The easiest way to select a material is either from the SketchUp Material window or by using the eyedropper tool. This way you can select the material you wish to edit. Diffuse, transparency, and reflection sliders are all linked to each other. A change in one results in a change in the other two. For example, if you had a mirror that was 100% reflective, the reflections would not diffuse, therefore no diffusion setting is necessary. The transparency slider is linked directly to the opacity setting in the SketchUp Materials window. The reflection slider will increase or decrease the amount of reflection a material has, and blurry reflections can be toggled by checking the blur box under the reflection slider. Refraction is how the speed of light through a particular material is affected. The higher the refraction value, the more light is slowed down, which causes light to bend and distort images behind the material. You can enter a custom value, or you can select from a list of preset refraction values. Refraction can also be blurry and is toggled by the blur box below the refraction values. The next slider, Bump Depth, controls the bumpiness of a selected material. A value of 1 through 10 can be selected for the material. The last slider is the Light Slider. The Light Slider is used to give a material a light value to create a light emitting material. Besides using LEMs and the SketchUp Shadows and Sun, there are point lights as well. To add a point light, select Place Point Light from the Podium Version 2 menu. After placing a point light, open the Light Properties window. The Light Properties will only edit one point light at a time. After selecting your power level and color, you can copy the light to make an array of point lights with identical properties. We also offer a version 2 light library with all the light fixtures updated with point lights for version 2. All that is left is to render the scene. Select Render from the Podium Version 2 menu, and the rendering process will begin. Currently, the beta version will only render viewport resolution, so whatever your SketchUp window is open to will be the size of the render. Also, the beta only has one preset. Final release will include different resolution sizes and several presets to choose from, much like what you are used to from previous versions of Podium.